Let's Do Mission Now is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida UK Aid and the EU. Power infrastructure at the Dr. Hilaliman Senior High School is a headache. Now, the district assembly says most of the structures have not been completely handed over to authorities. Therefore, uh, by Nana Amfo reports, the roof of the boys' dormitory was ripped off last year and has not been fixed, while the boys sleep in an uncompleted library without electricity. More detail coming up. If the contractor does not hand over, it is, now, it is not now fully in the hands of the, let me say, the community, which the district assembly is the head. So you have a, dif you have a difficulty going in at a blow. A difficult system that makes it difficult for public officials at the local level to act fast. Projects are awarded from the center. Local level involvement is minimal. They cannot query contractors. The roof of the Dr. Hilary Man Senior High School boys' dormitory was ripped off in June 2018. The boys were moved to an uncompleted library, but it is hell at night. <laughs> it's past 9:30, and uh, the students of the Dr. Hilary Man Senior High School have just closed from preps. The unfortunate ones will have to end up sleeping in this dormitory. This is a boys' dormitory, a library, an uncompleted one, which was converted into a dormitory when the school's boys' dormitory was ripped off by a rainstorm. The boys sleep at night without electricity because the structure is not yet connected to electricity. Tofik is a house prefect. Tofik, how serious is the situation that you find yourselves? Right now, the situation is very, very bad because as students, we are supposed to wake up early to carry out some activities before going to class. But because we don't have lights, you can't get up at dawn. You have to wait until the place is bright before you can get up and take any action before you bath or to clean the dormitory. Even we have some fractures. Last two weeks, somebody had a fracture at this location because there was no light. He hit his leg against one of the chalkboards and fell down. The school, though performing well, might begin to see high failures if this is not fixed. Let me take the academics first. If you go into the records, the first appearance at the WASI exams, actually the best grade that was made was 22. It is just this, this results that have just come in that have proven the best performance so far because the best grade this time was 12. And so the academics, I will say, are coupled with all the constraints, but the academic work, the teachers are doing marvelously well. And if we talk about the infrastructure, mm. the infrastructure, to be frank, is we will say we are lacking, but they are woefully inadequate. Everything is done in the dark. They battle reptiles and they run into each other sometimes. Their savior remains the rechargeable light they bring to school. Two classrooms, one master's bungalow and a dining hall, had their roofs ripped off last year. The assembly decided to fix the roof. The then head teacher told us that kitchen also fell and no water too as at that time. So she was like, if we could help in raising the kitchen, they would try because there is just a pool by it and it is wired. It's only the connection. They will try to do that because they were thinking that that one was a smaller case. Again, another effort to fix the roof also hit a snack. The problem of this particular structure is because they use the long rig uh, zinc that is factory made. We go to the consultant, A&Q, whether they could get the contractor for us to help us get that. And the contractor was nowhere to be found. After persistent plea and another ripoff in 2019, the assembly acted fast. We now have all the detailed bill of quantity that we are going to use. So in our last general assembly, it was also said there that 
definitely we are going to help the Hilaliman Senior High School to fix that problem. And we are serious about that. I have the conviction that before January ends, that thing will be fixed. But the boys remain in the dark. Lessons are missed. The assembly is still scratching its head in restoring electricity to the facility. With over 1,000 students, the Dr. Hila Liman Senior High School has potential to serve students from the area and need support. Bright Nananfu, TV3, Gualu.